What's good, Staff D Nation? It's Staff D here, and Carnival is back in FIFA Mobile 18. So the Carnival has returned to FIFA Mobile. Um, definitely like the card art, or not card art, but I guess like the art of this campaign at first look. So we're going to go through this. Um, I probably won't do the full free-to-play guide of everything you can do in this one, because I'm really just like totally jumping into this. I got no idea what's going on in this promo right now, um, or how to like make the most of it. But we'll definitely put together the make the most of the video. I can tell you, though, uh, that what you're going to want to do if you want to make sure that you're making the most of it um, is take advantage of these events um, the other thing about them is they're actually uh, repeatable so you can actually go in you can play this event as many times as you want one to five confetti and a broken mask from this one um, so I've been hearing from reddit that the uh, the drop rates are actually fairly decent on this one um, uh, so maybe that will like luck you out get some good broken mask and what you can do with these broken masks and this confetti um, is you can actually go into the uh, store um, and so in the store you have this option way over here um, to get the ten of ten broken masks or ten of the uh, broken masks to get you an actual mask um, and get you a like or fifteen to get you a specific one um, and then you have in the carnival section. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so in our carnival section, uh, we can put confetti in for uh, different things that rotate every 12 hours. So another Brazilian mask, which you can get additional three for. So there's a whole bunch of things you can actually get um, from this one. It looks like grinding the event could be um, advantageous. You also get the guaranteed one. So nice to see that they put back the grinding into this one. Um, and then you can, you can keep unlocking these things as well. Now, there is the option to purchase this pack up here to unlock uh, different regions. Uh, you do have to pay $6.99 for it or whatever that translates to. Um, but you also also could just unlock it by playing through the campaign as well so you do not need to play that and I would I honestly don't know if I would necessarily buy that right away because if you look at this one um, it costs one for each of these ones so one two three four five six or six seven eight so eight to get to this one and get the Germany unlocked so basically it's gonna cost you eight of the green mass um, so the Brazilian mass in order to get the first thing unlocked get the Germany chapter and then you can move through um, the Germany chapter as well or you can continue along the path here uh, to get better players throughout the the Brazilian chapter so you could get some of the players uh, first player not bad so eight live events to get the first player um, or you can play through the, the the grinding of the match and at least it's not going through um, and doing like verse attack all the time like it is just like a live event and live events are actually pretty fun they're uh, themed to carnival as well uh, so what I'm gonna do right now before we go and open some of these packs I know you want to see the opening of packs I'm going to play this live event, see if we can get a broken mask in this one. So we'll play through the live event, show you this live event, um, just so you know, because I messed this up the first time. You want to avoid the masks. I thought at first we wanted to hit the mask. So a quick event to actually grind through this first one. Uh, so I might, I'm going to play it twice, I think, just to get like uh, an idea if we can get one in like every two, those kind of things. Because if that's the case, if you can get one like every second one, something like that, and you get it for 15, it's going to take you 30 basically to get every one of those. So um, fairly, fairly good with that, especially because the event does reset itself every 12 hours. And then with each one, it's going to unlock uh, more of that as well. So I think this event actually has a lot of opportunity for different things at first look so I, I'm interested to know though let me know what you think about this event so far what are your third first thoughts of it as we go through just getting two confetti on that first one two confetti in the second one so the drop rate um, not super huge for us uh, so far on there um, but uh, hopefully I don't know let me know how many packs have you opened how many times did you get a mask out of that one a broken mask I'm interested to know what's going on on that for everybody definitely love the layout of this though um, not lots of cool cards that you can get in this as well so if you go through this whole campaign you can go through, you have to get every single one of these complete, the world one complete. Um, wow, then the cards get very nice towards the end. Animated logo, 90 plus overall, um, 135 skill boost, 130, so lots of rewards towards the end of these two. Um, to finish off the ballot at the end, a nice card right there, 107 pace, and wicked, wicked stats. That's definitely a card that I want to go to and try and get. Um, and then finally, yeah. Look at that card right there. 114 pace, 133 marking, and a 37 aggression if we had him on the team. I think he's like 120 and 120, um, like Max and Max is out of there, but basically 120 of like almost every single defensive stat. This would be a wicked card to get, but I think it's like you always say with these ones. If you want to go for that one, it's going to cost you a fortune. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get that uh, that prime icon, but we'll see how many players we can get through. It does look like a fun event, um, so I'm excited to see what kind of grinding we're going to go through it and play through this event and see how it, uh, how it ends up. 
up turning out. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic to start this one, um, but I guess we'll find out very soon what goes on with it. So we're going to check out the store right now, show you everything that's going on in the store. Um, but that's basically the breakdown of the carnival stuff. You can get the region unlock. I would probably hold off on that, at least for the next little bit. Um, the one benefit of doing it is it unlocks the other uh, skill events as well, so you can get uh, four chances of getting a mask, but the mask could then come from any region as well. Uh, so not necessarily from the region that you want. So I'm going to hold off now just to save off on Brazilian masks um, and at least like get the most amount of there and then unlock it later if I decide to do that. You can get Brazilian masks. Uh, you can pick this up. Uh, it looks like you can pick this up as many times as you want, but I feel like there's probably a one-time thing, but $14 for every 13 Brazilian masks. I haven't actually looked to see how many masks you need to get through it, um, but I'll have to look at that. We'll talk about that maybe in the next video, um, but we'll go on to the masks here. 500,000 Brazil party packs. So I'm going to open up the coin pack. Let's see what kind of things we can get. Two Brazilian items. It has a very similar feel to Team of the Year. Um, I'm hoping it's maybe a little bit cheaper than Team of the Year, but the bundles do seem to be the same. So a 500,000 coin pack where we get 100,000 back. So really a 400,000 uh, coin pack that we get out of this one. 10 confetti, a Brazilian mask, five... Thousand Carnival, and we get oh first pack. We pull ourselves. I love the card art on these cards, by the way. We pull ourselves a player in the first one. Douglas Louise out of that first pack. Very nice. Um, some decent stats actually on this as well. Center midfield player with 94 marking, 88 tackling. Um, I'll definitely take that luck on that first pack. So a coin pack. Gets us some luck there. Uh, don't know how much players go for. They're all auctionable. You can also though get um the, uh, you can, uh, what does it say? All the players become optional after the same just the team of the year. They're going to become available at the end. Um, if you want to try and pick up the ball and all those ones, you still have a chance to get it. So I do like that they're doing that. Um, they obviously just stop it because if you have them like before, uh, you could like complete, I don't know. Because, oh yeah, because then you could get the, uh, I, I don't know. Anyways, we're going to go into the next one. And we get two Brazilian masks there. So that was actually a very good one. Two Brazilian masks out of that one. Um, and then we'll open up this Brazilian party bundle um, and see what we can get out of there. We'll do some of the other party packs and stuff later on uh, once we get the uh, the other things unlocked. But I, not a bad start to our first packs as we go into the bundle. Uh, love the card art of these packs as well. Very nice card art. As we go, 10 confetti, two Brazilian masks, and 5,000 points. So we're actually, the drop rate of the Brazilian masks is a little bit better than I kind of anticipated before is 12 confetti one Brazilian mask um, so I thought I got more items I thought I got like three items that's, that's kind of weird I don't know weird okay hundred thousand coins 12 confetti and one Brazilian mask I thought I, apparently confetti counts as a Brazilian item I don't know how that happens I don't know if I agree with that but uh, anyways whatever we're going on to the next one 12 confetti and one Brazilian mask again we're we're stuck on this 12 confetti and one Brazilian mask I want like that first pack Give me more of that first pack. Another one Brazilian mask. Where we got, like, a player. All right, here we go. 11 confetti, one Brazilian mask, and 5,000 training experience. Here we go again. Okay, 11 confetti. Again, we're getting... Oh, a broken mask. That's that's a little unfortunate. Um, and then a Brazilian mask there at the end. We get eight again, so we're going to have, hopefully, another chance to get a player. But no, broken mask. Brazilian mask there so I think we'll be able to get to the first player we should be able to unlock the Germany um, so maybe I could buy those coin packs as well so I might just like skip ahead um, show you uh, show you through it so we can show you it's in the Germany pack um, once we go through there because I don't know if you want it well I guess I could just play through the live events you can just skip through this next part of us playing through the different live events as we go along on the journey together and get a Brazilian mask there and the final pack, we know we get a player in it the final pack our topper is going to be wow I thought that said 88. I thought Danilo was an 88 overall, and I was a little bit more excited. But we pulled Danilo, um, so not sure how much these cards are going for. Obviously, they'll probably go for a little bit more now, um, but I'm interested to see. I want to put them on the team because I'm, I want to see what they look like uh, when they move to... Oh, I don't have the right formation. Okay, let's try this. Let's put him into here. Let's see what he looks like. 92 overall, so it doesn't really change a whole lot. So it'll be interesting to see once it gets to 100, uh, what it's going to look like at 100. I guess we could just put it up to 100 and see. You can put him on to 100. What, what's it going to cost? Uh, what do we have to put in? Plus three, four. Test them out at 100. So we go to 100 overall. Oh, I do like the 100 overall card art. So very nice 100 overall card art um, with the confetti coming in on that one. So I'm excited to start booting these players up. Uh, probably one of my favorite cards. A, car, a full team of these players would look very, very nice. I am definitely think I want to go for a full team of those players because they do look very cool. Um, but uh, there you go. Our first Carnival player at 100 overall. That's what he looks like at the Master 1. Now let's go into the events here. Uh, back into our, uh, our parade. Go through our parade. Start off this Brazilian campaign, the Carnival Mask. Uh, through this one, each one you have a chance to get a player. I don't know how likely the chance is, but you do have a chance to go through it there. Our first... Oh, 
I didn't know that was going to go in. It did end up going in on that one. Let's try it again. That was a bad shot. That was a bad shot. See, that's what you're not supposed to do. Oh, that's probably not what you're supposed to do, too. Yeah, right in... I'm, I'm really good at hitting it. I'm really good at getting exactly where I don't want to go on it. Oh, that was such a goodly play shot. It's so hard to get it over the wall, too. Now I'm just putting it right at the wall. I gotta score three goals now? Uh-oh. Oh, sneaks it right in the middle there. Last one, last one. Nope. I'm gonna have to get one of these three. Quickly. Shoot faster, shoot... Ah! Oh. I'm gonna, just need to, okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off on this one. Okay, let's go. Let it go in. It's moving fast now. I'm gonna try and trick it. Trick it with a shot. Oh, and it goes off the wall. Come on. It really just doesn't want me to score here. Well, we almost found out if we get it back. I, that's the one thing I don't know. In the previous ones, you got them back. Um, I'm interested to know if you did get them back or not get them back. Let me know that in the comments as well, because I do want to see if you would get them back if you ended up uh, losing on that one. So our first carnival pack, we get 100,000 coins and five confetti. A decent amount of coins, actually, in that first one. As we move on to the next one, uh, we'll just skip through some of these ones um, and get you to the first claiming player. All right. So... I'm going to bring it back to this one because this is a very interesting event that you got. You got to try and chip it onto uh, the carnival balls while avoiding the avoiding ones. This is really hard. This is like, it's interesting, but it is definitely a difficult event that we got. Okay, here we go. That one's going to hit. There you go. So I just wanted to show that one because I thought that one was kind of interesting. Um, but we'll put that one on. That's our next one. We got to see if we get the reward anyway. So our next parade parading along in the carnival and we get ourselves five confetti and another hundred thousand coins so lots of coins um, interesting with that because by doing this we actually have enough to almost buy another pack um, from that one as well so here we go next one we got to destroy four masks I don't know what that defender is doing he's kind of just standing there on the side but I'll take it oh we got the we got the carnival colors in the background going on this one both sides. They're trying. They knew this is the event for me right now. They're like, ah, you know what? Stop. D can't do is shoot to both sides in the net. So they're trying to test me. They're trying to trick me by making it so I have to shoot to both sides in the net. We come in again. The defender's not doing anything. I really don't want that defender on my team if he's gonna just stand there and do nothing. There we go. All right, four masks in. Let's see what we get in the next reward. All right, there you go. So our first player, these ones are, I believe, unauctionable. Yeah, so these ones are unauctionable for now. Um, so we get our first our first player out of that one. We're going to unlock the Germany campaign as well. Uh, so our first unlock, the Germany campaign is unlocked. Uh, we still have seven more to go through this one, so we can still keep moving through these um, towards the rest of the players in the Brazilian campaign as well. But now we can unlock the Germany campaign um, and then move to the Spain campaign, the rest of the world campaign, a whole bunch of different campaigns from that one. Um, so interested to see how this one goes. Um, I I'm excited to see how this one goes. We'll find out, I suppose, though. But let's open the Germany packs to end this off. All right, here we go. We got two. To see, that's what I thought was interesting about it. It says two Germany items, but two Germany items doesn't seem to be like masks or players. It seems to also be confetti. So apparently confetti counts as players. I'm hoping that our luck will be exactly the same as the first time we did our first coin pack. It's looking good to start with. I'm feeling a player. I'm feeling a player. It's not going to happen. There's the 25,000 coins out of or training experience out of that one. Um, so we're on to our final one we hope to see another player uh, but the coin pack lock actually has been better for us than the thief of cash luck which is kind of interesting but next one 25,000 coins uh, so nothing out of that second one and that's the end of our Germany um, excursion there but we can go through now we got that one unlocked and then we're moving through that um, I do think I have do I have any broken masks I have five broken masks so I can closer to getting that one um, I could I think get one of the the Brazilian masks from the 75 uh, confetti because we have a lot of confetti building up uh, but I might hang off on that one for now oh I do want this I German, do I have 250? Ah, I don't have 250. I could almost get one of the Germany car uh, Carnivalers, Carnivaler players, but uh, it's not going to happen for us today. It's not going to happen right now as we only have 183 of the 215 that we need. But anyways, thank you for checking this out and stopping by. Um, at first thought, I do enjoy this uh, promo. I'm excited to see what happens with this promo, but we'll see what happens. Looks a little bit better than the Team of the Year stuff. Love the card art on these cards. Love that they're auctionable, um, especially these uh, these Carnival players and then the other players at the end. But thank you for checking this out and stopping by. It's been a pleasure as always. Stop D. Out.